statement. Uh, I use the original SLS. No. I'm sorry, but a woman died. A girl died. On, on okay, so I'm not far away now, and I've already had a strange experience. So as I turned the sharp corner to walk to actually walk towards the Walton Hall Gardens, I saw a woman stood on the path, narrow path. And as I got closer, I looked behind me to make sure there was no cars coming, and uh, she was gone. I assumed that she lived in one of the really nice houses that I was about to walk past. Nothing, nothing. And there is a creepy church there with a nice old graveyard, which we will be paying to a visit to after. <laughs> Walton Hall Gardens. Now unfortunately I didn't realise there's a ton of construction being done um, but nevertheless that's not going to change the you know the alleged happenings that happen there. So Walton Hall Gardens, you got a few notes here, it's a country house, it's a grade 2 country house. Um, it was built in 1836 to 1838. Now it was built for um, Sir Gilbert Greenhall now there was an extension done on the uh, on the hall uh, what, that was demolished. Now the only part of the extension that wasn't demolished is the tower on the far left of the screen that you can see the little clock tower. Now nowadays you get a lot of weddings done here. Uh, you do get some ghost paranormal walks that you can attend. However, unfortunately, I can't actually go inside the building today. But I'm going to walk around the grounds and see if I can pick anything up. I've obviously got my DSLR with me. I'll get some photos as well. Um, so yeah, so let's have a look. So these are the main doors here. And behind the main doors is a big staircase. And allegedly there is a ghost of a girl that died near those stairs. And some guests have reported being pushed whilst on the stairs. Now, there are other ghosts of children that are known to um, be heard laughing, crying, um, running around, lots of footsteps. It's a beautiful building, absolutely beautiful architecture, but I'm more interested in the spooky side of it. Another resident ghost is Lady Darsbury, wife of Sir Gilbert Greenhall. Now she died um, within an adjoined bathroom near her room and it is alleged that if there's any guests that are in her room or in that vicinity, if she doesn't like them, they feel a big push. Um, now as I've said, a lot of other paranormal investigators have actually been here walk the grounds and some have actually been inside including most haunted's team now you can book on to um book on to ghost walks here which i'm thinking of doing uh and seeing if they're kind enough to let me do this kind of stuff while i'm there so anyway i'm going to turn on my ghost tube apps and see if i can pick anything up so let's get on ghost tube 
Okay, so I've just turned on ghost tube sear. I'm in front of the hall now. Uh, I might rotate the camera and I might actually try and communicate with Alton Hall, a grade two historic building in which apparently there's been one or two deaths in which the deceased have been known to make themselves known, aka ghosts or hauntings. So through this door is a staircase. Now that staircase allegedly a little girl died around the stairs and if there's anyone in the premises that she does not like they are people have known to feel a little push as if she's trying to push them down the stairs. Numerous children can be heard laughing, crying, playing, running around footsteps around the the landings and the stairs of the uh, of the hall. So I ask if there is any spirits, whether it's a child or a woman or any spirit, could you give me an image or a sign, please, to let me know that you are here? Now, it's a shame that this is covered in scaffolding. No. <laughs> oh dear so we've just had an image of a girl in a room I need to look at it properly on when I'm home um, but I was asking about an alleged girl ghost there's also a woman ghost that is known here as well but we have just been given an image of a girl or a woman the image is small here so I'll have to review it later um, again I'm not quite sure if it's just picked up what I've said and it's just throughout an image based on what I've said or well, I'd like to think that it's more of the paranormal side of it so there's the clock tower so there was an extension here um, which was demolished I don't know why it was demolished probably when the council took over, but they've left the clock tower, which is good, it's a nice little touch. Now, now I'm thinking while I'm here, I may also use the voice detector. Children are known to run and play around this area, or dominantly inside the hall, which is having work done to it. There is also, people have weddings done here, wedding fairs, which are usually over there, and people have wedding photos there. This is the actual hall itself. So I'm just going to walk around and see what anything picks up. If there's any spirits or entities or even residual energy that hosts these grounds in or out in the rooms or any spirits that have been within this premises over the last few centuries, please give me an image or give me a sign give me some kind of something to let me know that you're here it must be annoying having all these people trespassing all over your beloved home thank you wow okay that's different I will review these images a lot more later, but that looks like a man walking past a big building. Could it be someone who traveled here or someone who travels to this location or someone who moved here centuries ago? We've had two Im AI images pop up in relation to me trying to communicate with spirits. now. Now, it is said that a woman died here in her adjoined bathroom. If that woman could give me a sign that she is still here, maybe what you look like, maybe what you wore, what you did for a living, 
anything to could be anything to do with your life or your afterlife please show me an image to let me know that you're here you may not want us here you may not want people in your house but can you please show me an image to let me know that you are here and you still reside in your old property I am now walking past your house and I assume that one of these rooms up here was the room that you perished in if that is so and you don't like people visiting please give me a sign show me an image I'll be most grateful and I will leave you be. Let's see if anything pops up over here. Because even though she died in the hall, this is a big place. They must have spent a lot of time outside. You get a bit of better view of the house here. I've had two things come up. Two things from call and response. Uh, which hasn't happened previously. I've never tried this, I've never tried communicating through an AI app to gain a, go a response from an entity, a ghost, a spirit. Again, I don't know how the science behind this app, but it certainly did work. I got an image of a, of a girl or a woman and an image of a man. Um, yeah, an image just to show that she still is here and she may walk these grounds she certainly is still in there somewhere a lot of people have reported it but i wonder if she ever ventures outside of the grounds oh okay that that is that is creepy that is not a woman that is not a man it's some kind of a i'm not quite sure what that means i don't want i don't know what to make of that so that popped up while i was asking uh for miss darsbury to show a sign that she is still here um and still resides around inside there or around the premises and that is the image that it gave me so that certainly is fascinating wow the other images, I could probably try and figure out what the kind of what they're supposed to mean. Um, I mean, the first one literally asked the sign of a, if a little girl lived there and died there, and I got a picture of a girl in a room. Um, but then Mrs. Darsby died in a room, and it also could have been a, a grown woman. So we've had three images. I think it's three so far. Um, Two are of people um, with me communicating, trying to get um, some kind of a sign off an alleged spirit. Um, and one is actually completely bizarre. Doesn't look like a man, doesn't look like a woman. It looks like a cryptid, which is strange because I talk about cryptids. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off and I might start uh, doing a voice one. Okay, so let's just get on that. We're on the Vox app now. So I'm going to see if I can get any voices. So I'm going to get closer to the building as I can um, and see how we get on. So I am here at Walton Hall Gardens and it is believed that there are spirits here. Now the big stairs are literally just behind this door. So if there is a spirit on or around this premises can you please give me a sign by saying something? Say a word, say your name. Can you please give me a sign? Just try it the Okay, so with this app, sometimes I'm not sure if what I'm picking up is a ghostly voice or if it's something that weeks long oh what was that okay that was different what i'm looking for is a female sure male 
This certainly is interesting. I'm getting male voices. Maybe the male voice doesn't want me to talk to the female. Can the spirit of the fallen child or Miss Darsbury please make themselves known by saying something? Can you say a word? Can you say your name? Make yourself known, please. The week. How'd you do? No female or child voice yet. Is there a child or a woman that is lost here or is that stuck here? and gets unhappy when guests visit. If so, please let yourself know. Say a word, say your name, or just say how oh. you feel. Or just say how you feel about me being here. Now, obviously I'm not inside the building, but I'm sure if you are there, you can see me walking around. Now for you that are watching, you might think this is a bit weird, you might think this is a bit out there, you might think, you know, I'm not sure how realistic or how accurate this app is, um, but this is what you got to do, you got to ask, I mean, you don't ask, you don't get, do you, so. Chelsea. Chelsea? Yes. Okay. So we got the word Chelsea, we got the name Chelsea. So when I get home later, I'm going to look up Chelsea's that may have been. As I'm talking, I'm missing little bits, but I'm looking out for a, well, any voices, but it'd be nice to hear a female voice. It does pick up frequencies sometimes from radios or from things people may be watching or listen to, listening to on their phone. But then occasionally you come across something very strange and that sounds very odd. And that's usually what I would then link towards more of a potential paranormal side of it. If you're a child here, a spirit of a child and you're trapped here, can you please say something? Say something. Give me a word, give me a sign. Maybe say your name. Just give me any kind of word to let me know that either Miss Darsbury or the little girl that perished on the stairs is here. Okay, so that little audio clip, I heard what sounded like a muffle sounded of a child's voice followed by an adult voice that's a bit odd it leads me to more suspicious thoughts on what may have happened to the child here again I don't know how much of this app but it certainly is does get the mighty it does get you thinking Was that the sound of a little girl being silenced by an adult? Is someone trying to silence you? Did, did an adult in this premises hurt you? Please be brave and speak out. Peter, in the... Lots of male voices, but that one with a very, very faint sound of what I thought sounded like a child, a child every day. followed by an adult, maybe a child being told off or being overpowered by an adult, but could that be linked to the child's death on the stairs? If you're a little girl that resides in this premises as a spirit, 
please don't be scared. And say a, and say a word. Say any word. Maybe say your name or your favourite colour. Or just a yes or no answer. Go for it. I know what you're thinking, it's hard to take it seriously when radio frequencies keep popping through. So it's behind them doors. Talk sport. The stairs are. Now lo lots of male voices keep popping through. And some of them are pro some of them are clearly from radio frequencies. I'm getting hints of a of a female voice or a child. Part voice. The okay, what was that? They're coming on. No, that wasn't it. I don't know. There's a part of me that feels that obviously I'm not in the building, so it's completely different. I might be just getting little snippets of residual energy if I am getting anything at all. Um, You're fascinating. But then you get voices like that that sound completely demonic and strange. But I feel like the female voices, there's a part of me that thinks that they're being silenced. I keep thinking I'm hearing female voices when I'm talking. I'm still going back to that slight little hint of a child's voice with what sounded like a grown adult male. Um, directly after it. So behind them doors is the stairs that the girl perished on, the little girl. I don't know her name, but if you can hear me, can you please let me know your name? Or just give me a word or a sign. Any word. I'm not here to hurt you or ridicule. I believe you. I believe that you're here. A lot of people have heard your footsteps. I just want to hear a word from you. Close. By one of his. Okay. Twelve. So we got a child's voice there, and that was a girl child's voice. That's something. I'll have to read, I'll have to listen to these back and see what actual words are coming out. So here we are at the entrance of Walton Hall. Where this is something. Okay. Where a child has perished and also Miss Darsbury herself died here. <coughs> Lots of par ghost walks and paranormal investigations have been done here. Unfortunately, I do not have access to the premises. And there's construction work being done on it, and I believe that they are preparing for a wedding fair, which is why it's so busy. We have had some images, we've had some very intriguing voices come through. I'll try again. Miss Darsbury, if your energy still lies here and you can hear me from wherever you are within the premises, can you please give me a word? Can you please say something? Make yourself known. Miss Darsbury, can you please make yourself known? <coughs> Miss Darsbury, are you trying to communicate with me? If you still reside these grounds or premises, can you please give me a sign? Simply by saying yes or no, or making a sound, saying a random word, can you do that for me now? Okay, that was blatantly music. So, I think there are workers on the roof listening to radio and it keeps picking up the frequencies. So I don't think we're going to get much from 
Miss Darsbury. Miss Darsbury, in there is your house. Are you happy that there are a lot of people here? Or does that make you angry? Who is here? Who is near me? Please communicate with me. I think I'm going to call it on the voice app. I uh, had plenty come through, lots of male voices, but then I've had uh, the name Chelsea be thrown out there. I've had what sounded like a, a child's muffled voice, followed by an adult's voice, which could potentially be what may have happened to the little girl near the stairs. Um, and I've had a woman's voice come through by near the front door. So let's leave that for the Vox. I might do the one that picks up human-like forms. Um, other than that, I'm going to go to a church on the way on the way out of Walton Gardens. There's a little church about 100 metres down the road, really old, and I think I'll do this while I'm there as well. So let's have a look. So it's got quite busy here now. I've done the Ghost Tube Seer, which I'm recording on right now. Um, I've done the Vox app. I've heard some odd voices um, and some intriguing voices, call and response voices. Um, a lot of call and response on this app as well. Um, I thought I'd just leave the seer on while I'm doing my closing little statement. Uh, I used the original SLS. No! I'm sorry, but a woman died, a girl died on or near the stairs and a woman died in that house near a bathroom and there's what looks like a ghostly figure on some stairs. That is awesome. I'm sorry but this is as I'm wrapping up the video and I get that. That's kind of like made, that's kind of made my day. Now the images I got before are a lot more, you know, I have to look into them, I have to think about them, what could they mean? They certainly did relate to what I was doing and what I was saying, or what I was looking for, but that is a blatant out image of a ghostly figure, or I'll have to look at it properly when I'm home, by some stairs. And the little girl allegedly died on the stairs. So, Walton Hall Gardens, uh, most haunted have been here, they do have annual paranormal walks where you can go inside the building with a crew, with a group, which I might do and do this again, or I might just rec I might just video the experience and just leave the apps off. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm happy with that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I probably will trim it down a little bit so there's bits where people are getting in the way and I don't do it or say anything. Uh, I'll cut it down, trim it down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching and please subscribe and share. Um, I'm aware you've never heard me talking to spirits or ghosts before, but when you're using these apps or you're trying to, you are trying to get evidence or signs, you have to do it. Um, didn't bother me doing it. Uh, I'm way into all this paranormal and supernatural stuff so uh it's, anyway that's what i do on this channel so yeah please subscribe share um and i'll see you in the next one